Recently, uh, a friend was in hospital, seriously ill, a man who had served the Lord faithfully for many years, even in overseas service along with his wife. Uh, and one evening, uh, someone from the church came to visit him. He was uh, asleep at the time, uh, of course not well. And then he opened his eyes and uh, asked to be sat up. And in those final hours of his life, uh, he wanted to pray. Uh, of course, he wouldn't have known it was his final hours, but he, he sat up uh, and with vigour he prayed, The Lord is my shepherd. And then something along the lines of, He looks for a wild, wild sheep and found it. He wrapped the wild sheep on his shoulders, the purpose fulfilled. He was talking about himself as a, a wild, wild sheep, someone who had uh, was away from the Lord or someone who needed to repent and the Lord came to him, rescued him, drew him onto himself and changed his complete life. You can find the story in Luke 15 verses 1 to 7 and then the two of them together sang uh, that beautiful hymn, turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face and the things of this earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. The question today is, what is our hope in life and death? My friend passed away a few hours after that. Uh, gone to be with the Lord. Uh, that's what the Bible teaches us. Passing into the presence of Christ. But what is our hope in life and death? Uh, there's another beautiful hymn that mentions it. Christ our hope in life and death. Um, Christ alone, Christ alone, what is our only confidence that our souls belong to him? What is our hope in life and death? Christ alone, Christ alone. From Psalm 23, verse 4, as we all will approach at one time in our lives, death itself, and that's a big, uh, unnatural almost, uh, thing to head towards and even to think about. So many not even thinking about death, but that lovely hymn or that lovely psalm, uh, The Lord is my shepherd, Psalm 23. And that whole thought of Jesus being our shepherd, of course he is the good shepherd and the good shepherd cares for his sheep. In verse 4, even though I walk through the valley, of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and staff, they comfort me. Referring to, of course, the Middle Eastern shepherd, the rod here, the, the cudgel, the defence weapon for the shepherd, and of course then the staff to lead the sheep, to direct the sheep. If you're in Christ today, the wonder is that we can face death with that great hope, that great knowledge that Christ has died for us and Christ has rescued us if we've come to him in repentance and faith and fully trusting him. But what happens today if you're not in Christ? What is your hope today in life and death? What are you basing your hope upon? If it's the things of this world, they fade away, a car rusts, a building crumbles eventually. Things change so rapidly. But we need to come to the one, the changeless one, the one who is the rock himself, the one who is our security, Christ alone. Maybe God's been speaking to you recently about what is your hope in life and in death. Are you prepared for death? Uh, that verse from Amos, prepare to meet thy God, who holds our days within his hand, what comes apart from his command, and what will keep us to the end, the love of Christ in which we stand. May you know today that love of Christ, that Jesus and the security that he alone gives us, that nothing, as it says in Romans 8, 
can ever separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. And also Romans 8 verse 1, there is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ. And may we uh, be found thinking of those thoughts, the Lord is our shepherd uh, and he looks to a wild, wild sheep and he goes and he rescues it and brings it back to the fold. May we know much of that today as we rejoice in Christ, the one who has saved us, the one who sustains us, but the one who will also take us to be with him for all eternity. I thank you once again very much for listening.